I'm going to show you how to finish off this um, bound off edge here at the bottom of the sweater. It'll be the same thing for your cuffs. Uh, I wanted to also show you how I handle the cast on edge at the collar, but apparently the phone was not recording me when I did that and I cut the yarn and everything so that that's done but it's it's the same principle <laughs> what you want to do is take your yarn tail along into the stitches as though it was a stitch kind of duplicate your bind off or in the case of the collar your cast on and in that way it will be a very smooth edge and and pretty invisible too so here's the yarn coming out of the final stitch and what I will do is find two legs of a V over here. Here's, that, here's the gap. I'm going to span the gap, go into the two legs of that V, and then pop right down into the hole where the yarn was coming out of originally. And that closes things up so that it's, it's quite smooth, and you won't know, uh, you won't see that kind of stair step sort of thing um, where the, the bind off began and ended. And the next thing that I do is I weave in my end. I, I take it down the inside of the ribbing all the way uh, to the body of the sweater. Whoops. And I go back and forth into a leg of, of these uh, stitches so that it's as secure as possible. Uh, and then I keep going into the fabric. And if you change color here like I did, you probably don't want to go into the, um, too far into the other color because it could show through. So do what you can to stay in this area, uh, but have the tail as far away as possible from the edge when you cut it. Oops, I forgot to pull on it before I did that, but I made the tail long enough, so it's okay. Uh, so that this will not poke through uh, and show uh, drooping down below the hem of the sweater.